Uh, I would uh, want to note that uh, we have had road contractors uh, uh, who have uh, really cut down trees, but they have not reinstated uh, uh, them. All the contractors are supposed to do what we call the environmental impact assessment, but most of them uh, do these reports as a formality, but they don't go uh, ahead to mitigate the effects of uh, cutting down trees to implement the project. So I think more needs to be done to compel contractors to make sure that if they cut trees for them to construct roads, they have to make sure that uh, these uh, uh, trees are reinstated so that we can maintain uh, the forest cover that we have. And I want to bring an issue that is currently uh, happening in, uh, in my constituency, Ganze, and uh, Kilifi at large. Of late, we have seen Chinese contractors translocating baobab trees. They are uprooting baobab trees and uh, exporting them or taking them to their countries. Baobab trees uh, are very valuable to us. They have a lot of uh, emotional attachments to especially my, my, my tribe. And whatever is happening in Kilifi right now is not the right thing to do. So I want to urge the, uh, the respective or the, the concerned government department, please, uh, this is an accident that needs to be stopped uh, in, with immediate effect because uh, if it is not stopped, then in the near future, I think all the baobab trees in Kilifi are going to be uh, taken to China. Uh, we are, as leaders, we want to make sure that we increase forest cover. So it's a pity to see uh, some trees are being translocated now to foreign countries. Oh, oh, that, oh that, the Honorable MP for Kwanzaa. You have exactly three minutes, Honorable MP for Kwanzaa. I understand the Honorable KJ has decided to donate a few of his minutes to the, the gracious lady. Okay. Mr. Speaker, I think this, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank Honorable John K. Kere for her coming up with this. I think the source of foresight. Because we having problem, the economic uh, issues and what have you, now with the dry spells is because of the cutting of the trees. And therefore, I think as we pass this uh, motion, which you want to take into a bill, we want that the contractors that are Whatever contract with the, with the KRA, or with, with the with the um, with the KRA or Kenha, they will be contracted to be obliged that as they, they they do the roads, Mr. Speaker, they should also be planting trees as they go along. Reason is that, uh, as you know, these road reserves are almost uh, six meters from the center of the road, either side. So you're talking about uh, 12 meters, and 12 meters is a lot of land. And given that we have got these uh, ecological problems we're having, these uh, dry spells that we're having, because of the changes in the climate, we want, therefore, that these people, when they're contracting with the Kenha or Kera, they should be able to sign to plant the trees on either side. Secondly, we also can also talk to, um, as it is, uh, as, the, as you take off this project, uh, this project, we can also ask, we can also ask the, uh, the, the the families that are along the road to be able to take care of their areas to plant the trees, and I'm sure that can be done. Given uh, the fact that uh, if they are going to be paid for something small, the families or whatever along the roads will be able to um, to plant to plant trees and look out those trees. The speaker, it's very important, and I think I also want to thank the, the honorable member, because where you go to a dry area, you will find that this, uh, at the right side, you can be able to do the irrigation without interfering with anybody, and be able to grow these trees. And um, of course, uh, the importance of the whole thing is that uh, the trees then, of course, uh, would be able to grow without any problem, because there'll be a cooperation between uh, the, the owners of the land along the road, plus, of course, the Kenha or Ken or whatever. So whether it's Kenha or Kera, we should be able to enforce this rule so that can be able to plant trees. And that, of course, will help us to have climatic changes in this country. We are having problems. In my area, we used to have rain. Now there's no rain just because of trees. So I think this is a very good uh, idea. 
And I'd like to, to take this opportunity to say, thank you, my friend. I think you, 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 you thought, your thoughts actually 